Okay, guys. So, I'm sorry I didn't post last week. Um, as you saw on my Instagram and my Twitter, uh, Chadwick Boseman passed away. Um, this weekend, which is my birthday, which is Sunday. Currently, it is August 29th, but for you guys, it's already September. Um, tomorrow is my birthday, and uh, I'm still going to record my birthday. I just didn't want to have a video up for this week because obviously I got to mourn and stuff as a fan and someone who genuinely loved him outside of his movies, like for the things he's done for people. But without getting too sad and somber, um, these are just some birthday gifts I just received from my dad's parents and my dad's sister and I thought I would show you I don't know how these things go I already opened everything but I thought I would show you guys still anyway well when I say I opened everything I mean the cards I haven't opened the package yet which is really cute but I'm gonna show you the flowers first because they're really heavy and yeah so my aunt sent me these um we've got some I don't know what all of these flowers are but we've got some pink roses, and it looks like some mums. Um, these little yellow flowers, if you know what these are, tell me down below. Um, I think these are, um, it starts with a C. It starts with a C. Carnations, I think those are carnations. And we got some sunflowers, which I had never received sunflowers before. So, and there's like these cute light pink flowers too. I'm not sure what they are. These little guys, they're really cute and it smells so good. I'm going to go put this back on my dresser now. I'll be right back. Alright, now let's get to the bag. It comes in my favorite color as you... May obviously know is pink. Um, oh, my camera's about to die. It's a good thing this part isn't going to be very long. So my grandparents got me this cute necklace that says 21 on it, and I'm going to be wearing it all day tomorrow. Um, I'm excited. Um, they did get me cards. Of course, the flower came with a card. Um, let me read the card that my aunt sent me. It says, Happy Birthday, Grace. I love and miss you. Have a wonderful day. Love, Aunt Jess, Aramis, and Thaddeus. Those are my cousins and my aunt. Now, I have a hard time reading cursive, so this might take a second. 21, celebrating you. This is for my grandparents. Um, I'm gonna try here, because I can read cursive, but if it's like all together, I struggle. But... Uh, may God bless you with, <laughs> uh, this gorgeous gift for all you do. May you have strength for each journey and a heart of hope, free from worry. Trust in God to guide your way and grow in wisdom each passing day. May the love keep and perfect you in his light of love all your life through with these gifts and more to be strong in faith for all of your days every life is a privilege every person is on a journey every journey has its challenge that's just stuff my grandma wrote my grandma likes to write things inside the card and I love that so much and then I read what the actual card says, which says, Anticipating everything you are going to be. Happy 21st birthday. Take care. God bless. Enjoy your journey. Love you always, Grandma and Grandpa. And they gave me $80. And the cutest bath bomb set. And it comes in this cute box, which I am going to keep. Oh my god, it's overexposed because of the sun. There we go. I'm going to keep this box. Probably to like put my beauty blenders in. Because like I don't have anything for my beauty blenders. Um, the scents are vanilla rose, plum blossom, 
Parison Lily and Cherry Blossom. And I was going to open it, but I was like, wait a minute, I said I wanted to vlog my birthday, so here we go, we're opening it. We're taking out the cute little gift tag, for starters. This bow is gorgeous, and I'm going to have to like figure out how to make it into like a hair bow or something, because I don't want to throw it away, because it's also cute. I like to repurpose things. It's kind of something that I do. I can't... There we go. I can... I'm adjusting the mirror because I can't see. And I want to make sure it doesn't die on me and stop recording. Okay, so they taped the ribbon to the box, which thank God it's on the uh, packaging thing. The ribbon. Honestly, it's a hair accessory now. I can just tie it into a ponytail or something after I take the tape off. Ugh, tape is gone. Alright, so this is what the bath bombs look like in their cute little sleeve things. This is the cherry blossom. This is the vanilla rose, the plum blossom, and the Paris and Lily. Uh, this brand is called, not sponsored by the way, Simple Pleasures. So if this smells really good, I will literally tell you. Oh, the box doesn't come apart. Oh, I love that. Or does it? And I'm just stupid. I think it comes apart. Well, I'm not going to try because I don't want to ruin it. I'm not going to take them out of the packages yet. Just because I'm not using them until I, well, want to use them. Ooh. This smells good. This is the Vanilla Rose. Focus. Come on now. Got a beauty guru this ish. There we go. That's the vanilla rose. This smells really good. Now for the plum blossom. I might keep the wrappers of these. These are cute. I know this sounds crazy. But like I decorate with stuff that's not actually decoration because it's cute and I like it. Ugh, struggling. And tomorrow, I'm going to my other grandparents and seeing my other aunt as well. So, we're going to have cake and ice cream and all that. Take that off. This is the plum blossom. I like this one. It ripped in the back, but it's okay. Nothing scissors can't fix. This is the plum blossom one. It's got like all these words on it. I'm not sure what they say. They're like really faint. It's written like an old newspaper and I like that. And the per Paris and Lily is like that too. The wrapper of it. <sighs> she can tell I've never done a birthday video before on this channel. There's a first for everything. See, uh, it's like the same as the sugar, the plum blossom. It's got like words all over it. This is the Paris and Lily. Focus. It's not focused, but that's okay. This one smells really good too. This cherry blossom is probably going to be the first one I use, and my bath water is probably going to be like really, really pink, which is fine. I like it. I love it. I love it. It is so cute. This is the cherry blossom. And it smells amazing. And it's really cute. Am I trying this again? Yes, I am. Oh, it comes apart. The box comes apart. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. Oh my god, the box just gets cuter. It's got words on the bottom. I'm going to take off the big sticker because it looks like there's something underneath it. I want to show you guys what the packaging looks like. So if you're interested in getting it, um, you can go ahead and get it so we can be twins. And it's also cruelty free, which that's how I buy all my beauty stuff. It's cruelty free. Am I vegan? No. But do I believe that we should be testing animals with things that are for humans? No. I don't think animals should be tested on Unless it's like a cure for them. 
like if there's an animal disease going around, then yes, they should definitely get tested and they should have vaccines tested on them. The sticker peeling is not the best, but as far as I can tell, it is the Eiffel Tower. And I don't speak French, so... Well, I, I know some words. I know some words. I can't just say I don't know any French at all. Because my mom took French in high school, and I know a little bit of French. Like, je m'appelle, and comment allez-vous, and parlez-vous français, and flommage. Stuff like that. And I can count to three. But, the Japanese thing is still going pretty well. Um, obviously, I have taken... Oh, it says, je t'aime Paris. Which basically means I love Paris. I know what I love is. Je t'aime more. Maybe I know a little bit more French than I thought. I'm just trying not to let my camera die. I'm going as fast as I possibly can without messing up the box. I just want to see what the cute box says because I'm not throwing it away. Because I've got perfume boxes around my room that are like cute. Like One Direction perfume and the Ariana Grande perfume, her first one. Like I have those boxes still and I have them underneath the perfume so it like kind of looks like a perfume store. And because the boxes are cute so why would I throw them away? Like obviously they're meant to be decorative, right? And the Eiffel Tower's pink? Oh my god, this is so cute. So, um... I just want to let you guys know that there's no horror hound this year. And if there is one, they're probably going to do it virtual. I'm not sure how they're going to get the stars to participate in it if they do. I'm sure some of them will. I, I honestly don't remember who was supposed to be there this year before Corona happened. So, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. They'll probably have new stars coming when... Horror Hound can actually be held as a physical event. And that's perfectly fine with me. I am more than okay with them getting more stars. Because, like, I like meeting people that I love watching on the big screen. And love watching off the big screen because they can be amazing people. Like Matthew Lillard, for example. He is amazing and so sweet. And if you ever get the chance to meet him I 1000 out of 10 highly recommend it I don't know if he'll see this but if you ever do Matthew Lillard I love you so much and meeting you is probably one of the best things if not the absolute best thing in my entire life and I've met a lot of people that are really nice and really cool in person but you by far you're the best person I could have ever met and yes I know I was excited to meet James Marsters too and trust me, I'm still happy I met him, but I knew what Scooby-Doo was way before I knew what Buffy was. And I just, Shaggy has always been my favorite. And yeah, um, this is what the front of the box looks like. It's really cute. I've really got all the sticker off. This box is not getting thrown away anytime soon. Um... But I'm going to go get something to eat, enjoy my day, let my camera charge. Um, I may or may not vlog a little bit more today. I mean, it is only Saturday. I don't really have any plans. But, yeah, my grandparents just dropped that off. My aunt lives in a different state. That's why uh, my grandparents dropped off the flowers. They're so pretty. And expect them to be <laughs> in my background a lot when I film at my desk. Because they are really, they're so pretty. And this all means a lot to me, and coronavirus has messed up a lot, but it's not going to ruin my 21st birthday. So, I'm excited. Um, I'm going to let you guys go now, because my camera is literally about to die, and I'm hungry. So, bye! <laughs>
guys uh so it's sunday now it's my birthday Woo! i'm 21 years old now and i'm pretty excited about it obviously and if you are also turning 21 please drink responsibly um yeah anyway um so this is all the gifts i got from my mom and my dad um later on today we're gonna go to my other grandparents house and see my aunt and uncle my other aunt and uncle and we're gonna have cake ice cream and then i think we're gonna go to sam's club for something i don't know and then i don't know what we're gonna do after all of that but hopefully it's something fun but anyway let me show you what i got so i got these shoes they're not just any shoes they are mulan shoes they have dragons on the side and it's mushu so it's on on the other side of the shoe and on the inside of the shoe on like the red leather part those are all tiny new shoes and it says Mulan on the inside where your foot goes and they're just they're really cute and I think I'm gonna wear these today Oop, instead of the boots that I was gonna wear just cuz I don't know I feel like these will fit better with my dress and just cuz I want to wear my new shoes um, I also got a queen shirt if you know me and you've stuck around long enough on this channel, you know that Queen is my favorite band. I will listen to them until your ears will fall off. Not my ears, because I don't care. This is the shirt. I love it so, so much. Literally, this um, the letters are going to fall off of this shirt when it comes time to wearing it. My little sister Letty, you know her, she's been on this channel a couple times. She colored me my favorite Disney princess. And it's cute. So, she told me I couldn't look. She told me I had to close my eyes while she was coloring it. She's like, you can't see it yet. You gotta close your eyes and gotta wait till your birthday. And I was like, okay. And this morning she's like, Grace, Grace, Grace. Wait, mom, can I give Grace her present? And my mom was like, yeah, you can give her. And she was like, wait, Grace, close your eyes. And then I closed my eyes. And then lo and behold, I got Ariel, a little mermaid colored for me. Um, I got a Talking Slayer handbook, which I can't wait to open it and put it on my Buffy shelf. Um, and just have it talk for hours on end when people come over or just because. And it's cute. And this is what it looks like on the back. Sarah Michelle Geller, if you ever see this video, I love you so much. Um, I also got a Sailor Moon coloring book. They're little chibis, which means small. And I cannot wait to color this because it's going to have so many pretty colors. And just, it's going to be so cute. Um, I got some hair accessories. Got some new scrunchies. And whatever you call these things. Um, they're cute. I can't wait to use them because I love scrunchies so very much. And last but not least, I got a Harry Potter robe. It's a bathrobe, I think, or a cloak. Either way it goes, I'm going to be wearing it. And it is none other than the Gryffindor household, my friends. Like, look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. And I cannot wait to wear this thing all the time. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I'm literally going to wear this thing all the time. And it just, it fits like a glove. And I absolutely love it. I love everything I've got. And I'm extremely thankful for it. Um, I know a lot of people have had birthdays during quarantine. And a lot of them were very upset about it. Which is understandable. But you can't be completely upset. You have to at least try to make the most of it. That's what I'm doing. Um, at the end of the video, you're going to see um, a self-timer photo shoot that I did uh, for my birthday. In this exact, well, not exact outfit. I didn't have the shirt or the chain on that you can't see. But, or this. But I will be taking selfies and posting them on my Instagram. So by the time you're done watching this video, um, actually, maybe before this video is out. Uh, those pictures will be up and make sure to give those pictures a like and comment um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog the rest of the day but I will uh, make sure to end it if I don't vlog anymore um, but I will have pictures on my phone that'll be taken and maybe videos I'm not sure depending on what we do kind of want to go out to eat but I don't know yet 
Um, so whatever I take pictures on with my phone, it'll definitely be in the video. Um, I love you guys all so much, and I'm happy to say that I shared my first birthday with you guys. Um, I can't wait until I can share more birthday videos with you guys, and I can't wait until quarantine is over and more places are open and I can actually go out and do things, and then we can share that together. Uh, like the big family that I hope we can start to be. Um, anyways guys, I love you all so much, and if I don't vlog any more of my birthday, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, follow my socials, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye!